Now, the other producers, including myself, wanted to get into color, but we were restricted to only use what we could get out of the colors uh, red and green. So that's why all the, the first pictures I made, the first maybe 20 or 30 pictures, were all used what we could get out of red and green. The other studios had to do the same thing, Warners and Paramount. This was called the two-strip color process, here in use in 1935. It was a number of years before Walt Disney's rights on Technicolor expired, and the other studios simply had to accept this very basic palette. Here, the animator was Frizz Freeling. Well, just the idea of using color was, uh, you know, an advancement for us. Of course, we were imitating Disney all the time. We were trying, we could never catch him. You know, he was always uh, way ahead of us. And so, we just went for comedy. And we just went a different way than he did. And we just went for slapstick comedy, and I guess that's why the Looney Tunes and Mary Melodies are outstanding today because Walt didn't dare change. He couldn't change Mickey Mouse. And uh, because uh, Mickey Mouse, the world looked up to Mickey Mouse, he couldn't change him. But he got outdated pretty fast. Tex Avery is the unsung genius of character animation. He worked for Leon Schlesinger, the head of Warner's cartoon department, and his frenzied lunatic storylines and characters took cartoon slapstick into the realm of total anarchy. Well, everybody loved Tex, but he did broad comedy. He did really broad. He, had, he dared a lot. And there was no one to restrict you there. At Warner's, Leon Schlesinger was more interested in the horse races than he was the cartoons. And so he was out there all the time, and nobody did to answer to. So we were more like a bunch of high school kids, you know, or college kids doing anything we wanted to do, as long as we just used good taste. And I don't know how much good taste we did use, but some of us used good taste and some of us didn't. In Tex Avery's Wild Hair from 1940, a historic moment. Unchristened as yet, Bugs Bunny speaks for the first time those immortal words. What's up, Doc? 